welcome back to my channel. I'm bringing you my empties for the month of September. I'm just going to go ahead and get into it because it, there is a lot, as usual. And of course, I'll have the total of everything that I used up down in the description box. So let's get started. First one is the Ulta sponge. It finally just took a crap on me and it was just, it's, yeah, it was done. So I ended up purchasing another one. Next one is the Sephora Orchid Sleeping Mask. I love this. This was really nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to um, sleeping masks whenever all of my masks are done. I really enjoyed these. Next one, even though it is in my Wet n Wild Compact, this was Max Soft and Gentle. I ended up repressing it. If you saw my Instagram, uh, you'll know that. And so I did finish that completely this month and I couldn't be happier. That was unexpected. The next thing was the It Cosmetics CC Illumination. This is in medium, it's just the little guy. I hated this. This was so bad for me. I broke out, it made my skin oily. Just, yeah, it just didn't work out for me. The next one is the Benefit There Real Mascara. This is my Holy Grail Mascara, as you guys know, so I finally used that up. Next was the Lancome Lash Primer, and mm, I'm just not a fan of lash primers in general. This one was okay. Um, it just wasn't the best. I don't want one in my collection. If I get one, that's fine. Next is the Dove Serum and Oil for your hair. I did finish this, and I love this stuff. I would purchase this again, 100%. Next is the Madam C.J. Walker Wonderful Deep Conditioning Mask. It was okay. I don't think that I would, you know, purchase it or anything, but it was nice. Next is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the one, obviously, with the pink cap, and I don't like it, so I'm glad that these are finally out of my collection. Yay! No more pink cap, like ever. If I get it for free, cool, I'll use it. But I'm not going to go and spend money on, on this. I like the one with the, like the aqua looking cap. Next, I have got eight perfume samples. Uh, some I went ahead and uh, repurchased. Some I liked, like the uh, Sweet Tart uh, by Tarte. I really liked that. Uh, talk, the Taka uh, Stella, I ended up purchasing that. That was really nice. C, I have a rollerball for uh, Victor and Ralph Bonbon. I really enjoyed that. and um, But it's really, really expensive. Even the small one is expensive. So I would not purchase that unless it was on sale, like really on sale. And this next one is Replica Beach Walk. Beach Walk. I did purchase that one. I purchased that whenever uh, Sephora did their surprise 15% off for like a day. So yeah, there is that. Let's see. I went through an SK2 facial treatment essence. I don't. I didn't really see a difference in this at, in my skin at all. It's this was ridiculously expensive for like a little tiny thing. I got it in my Sephora Play All Stars. So I'm I'm glad it's gone. I would not buy that. Next is the Garnier Skin Active Moisturizer. I love this stuff. And yeah, this one is gone, so I am happy about that, but yet yeah, kind of sad. I have a couple more in my collection. Uh, the next is the Clean Live Clean Coconut Milk Moisturizing Conditioner. It was okay. It was okay. I ended up getting this through Influencer, so I don't think that I would purchase this. I mean, I don't know. It was okay. Next is my Britney Spears uh, Fantasy Perfume. This is just the one ounce uh, spray, and I ended up buying this, or using it up actually, and uh, I don't think that I would purchase this again, honestly. I'm kind of over this kind of fragrance. Next is the Urban Decay Naked Lipstick. This is the Revolution Lipstick, and it is completely done. I'm not gonna dig it out. I was not a fan of this lipstick at all. Um, I like the Revolution line, but this one in particular, I just didn't like it, which is why it sat in my collection for a long time. 
but that is gone. I used it up and I'm really happy. Uh, next, some, some samples that I have here. The Clinique um, Cleanse. This is a liquid face soap. I use that. I used two of the Earthen Peel, uh, Instant Peel, the Natural Solutions. And yeah, that this was okay. This was all right. It didn't burn my skin or anything. And then I used the Novino Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial. Again, it was okay. Next, uh, this right here was um, the MAC Sample Pigment in Violet, and I used that up. I ended up pressing it with some jojoba oil and a little bit of alcohol into that pan so I could use it a lot easier, and that is done. Let's see. Next, I used the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. I had two of the samples of this, and I'm telling you, I would purchase this. I know it's really pricey, but I 100% would purchase this. I really enjoyed this. I saw instant results, and it did exactly what it claimed to do, which is rare in a mask, but this is $92, but I did love this. And then I used the Shea Moisture Peach Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Mud Mask with Date Palm and Camellia Extract. Uh, this was okay. This was okay. It was kind of interesting because whenever you put it on your face, it just disappeared. It, it disappeared as it dried. It was really interesting. Uh, I don't think that I would purchase that again because it had a very strong scent, but it was fine. Next, I used up the Mario Badescu Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. It was good. It's not as good as the Rose Spray, but, you know, it is what it is, and I used it up and I tried it, so I am back to the Rose Spray. Next, I used the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, my Holy Grail Foundation. This is an NW15, so I did use that up. I used up the Coach Poppy Rollerball, and I believe this is discontinued. Uh, this is a good everyday perfume for me, but I don't think that I would purchase it. So the fact that it's discontinued, that's fine by me. Next, I used the Verb Leave-In Mist, and I have already purchased this again. So it did go up $2, but I absolutely love this. Next is the Rodile Glam Tox Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. Oh my goodness, this does... So this this takes off all of your makeup. I really enjoyed this a lot and a little bit goes a long way. Let's see, next I used up the Biolage 3 Butter Control System Conditioner. This was fine, it left my hair at least smelling really nice. Next I used the Briogeo Rizarco Milk. This is Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This was okay. I mean, I wouldn't buy it or anything. I prefer the Verb one, so it does better for my hair. So I would not purchase this, but I'm glad that I did get, it, get to try this. Next is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This was nice, I liked it, but this is ridiculously expensive. This is $9.90 alone just for this, just for this, and this is 1.8 ounces. No, I would not purchase that again because yeah, no, I go through too much dry shampoo for that. Next, I use the Jack Black Turbo Wash Energizing Cleanser for hair and body. I use this for uh, a body wash. I didn't like it, I didn't like the smell. For me, it was just too medicinal. Uh, I know that it's geared towards men, but I used it anyway. Then I used the Black Vanilla Hydrating Conditioner, the Bumble and Bumble um, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Conditioner, the Extreme Strength Damage, Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil Conditioner, and the Christoph Robin Hair Mask. All of these, they were just okay. I wouldn't, they, they didn't do anything special. Next, I have the Estee Edit, the Edgiest Coal. This actually ended up dropping because it, it, it was broken at uh, the base. And so this popped out and I never found it again. So yeah, it's on the floor somewhere, probably underneath my computer. And I'm not going to dig it out because at that point it doesn't become sanitary anymore. So yeah, there was only a little tiny bit left and I had already pre-filmed 
my ghouls just want to hit pan so there's a little spoiler for that because I had to pre-film that one and I still had a little bit left at that time and it was right after that that it fell but you know no matter whatever just a little spoiler there now to get through some samples here I went through the Clinique uh, clarifying lotion it was fine uh, this right here is the Coors Greek Yogurt Smoothie Moisturizer, right there. Whenever something's great, I'll let you know. Uh, three of the Olay Regenerous, Regenerous Luminous uh, Tone Perfecting Cream. The It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I would like to try a deluxe size sample of this to consistently use it to see if I like it. The Olay Regenerative, Regenerist Advancing Anti-Aging Moisturizer. The Ulta Beauty Sleeping Cream. I did not like this. And I have another one in my collection that you will see next month. The Clinique Moisturizer. I really enjoyed this. This is the, the yellow lotion, the dramatically different moisturizing lotion. I like this. I would actually purchase that. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I used this along with the um, NARS Velva Matte Skin Tint. I use that sort of like as a moisturizer at night because I'm not a big tinted moisturizer fan, but I did enjoy this NARS one. In fact, I was a little bit upset that I used it at night. I should not have done that. Next is this Babe Body Souffle Punk Rose Lotion. There wasn't really enough in here to really do much. The It uh, Bye Bye Line Serum. I did enjoy this a little bit goes a long way. The Lancome Eye Cream. There's a whole bunch of words. Whole bunch of words that I can't pronounce. But this is an eye cream. And it was it was fine. The Julep Love Your Bare Face Hydrating uh, Cleansing Oil. I used that up. It was just like a little tiny thing right in there. I love cleansing oils. And that one looks nice. The Hourglass Mineral Veil. I have, a lot of people either love this or hate this. It's like... There's no in between, but I thought it was just fine. I thought it was I thought it was all right. Next is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This was nice. I have to admit that was nice. As far as the price goes, it's not worth the price, but it is nice. And I used four of the professional um, cards. That's basically just like a one-time use kind of thing. So I'm not a big fan of the professional. But it's okay. I mean, my makeup stayed on just fine, so it was all right. Next is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And again, it was one of those little card samples. And again, it was okay. I have a deluxe size of this, I believe, in my collection. So I'll be able to decide if I like it then. So I believe that that is it. That is my empties for the month of September. Wow. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this a like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!